Catch up. No, Nation, no, come on. Stop. They don't know how to freaking swim, man. Yo! What the? So cool, so cool, so cool. Oh, so cool, so cool, so cool. Yeah, so cool, so cool, so cool. Oh, so cool. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, hundred thousand on my wrist. I got it. What's happening with packing cool kids? It's your butt. See this is cool and I'm back again with another video. And yesterday, if you watched my video, guys, I told you it's feeling great outside. So today is the perfect weather for swimming. All my kids already in the pool swimming right now, having a great time. Today is five days away from the day that we actually lost our favorite animal, Blanco, guys. Aww. Now, for those of you that weren't watching us back then when it actually happened, Daddy, what? Daddy. It's cool and all that you guys can swim, but I'm focused on something. I'm trying to explain something important. Keep having fun, guys, but don't distract me. Either way, guys, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, we're gonna celebrate Blanco's going home party July 8th of every year, no matter what, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask you guys to help us as well. We're gonna buy a bunch of white balloons, as many as we can, and we're gonna all wear all white, and we're gonna release the white air balloons July 8th, guys. And that is Blanco's way of knowing that we never forgot about him, and we hope that those balloons can reach him in heaven, and Blanco can feel the love that we still have for him down here on Earth, even though he's not with us anymore, guys. Now, like I said, for those of you that weren't watching us back then, we have three dogs, okay? Well, first we have one, Rhino. Then we got another dog, Blanco. Then our house got broken too, so I got a security dog, Bruno. Bruno is the coolest dog ever. Rhino was the coolest dog ever. But Blanco was the coolest dog ever. He was a miniature American bully. Very small guys, very handsome, and very just, like he was almost a real life human being. He kept the other dogs in check. I have to admit too, he also made them fight. I don't know what they used to talk about, but I believe he had little man syndrome and he used to bully the other bigger dogs. Either way, it was so hilarious to see. But one day, Royalty let the dogs out to pee at 8.30 in the morning and on camera, the last time we saw Blanco was walking this way towards the pond. And after that, guys, the kids ran inside to tell me that Rhino was in the pond. I ran outside, grabbed Rhino out of the pond, but I did not see Blanco. And that is because, like I said, he was a miniature dog. So Rhino was able to stand on his tippy toes and keep his head out of the water, high enough so that someone could see him. But his little brother Blanco wasn't able to do the same. And as I said in that video, Rhino wasn't able to tell me personally that Blanco was in the water because he's a dog. But he was giving out some random signs like barking and running in circles. It was his way of trying to say, help Blanco. But guys, no one understood him. Therefore, Blanco ended up passing away, guys. It was the worst thing that had ever happened to anyone in my family. But not only that, guys, we had to fly very far away and do a tour that we had already signed up to do months way before this had even happened. That being said, it was the hardest time of our life, but we overcame it, guys, and we're still here today. And we want to show Blanco up there in heaven that we never forgot about him ever. That being said, if you can afford it, guys, do not forget, July 8th is National Blanco Day, and we're gonna release a lot of white balloons everywhere. I wanna see white balloons all over the city. That goes for everyone watching my videos. Now, back to these kids. What now? I'm over here focused on y'all. Show me what y'all was showing me. Harry! What is the meaning of this? Three, two, one. Where's your life vest? What? I can't hear you. Don't jump. You guys don't know how to swim. Yeah, right. What are you guys doing up there? Get your butt down. Get your no, nation. No, come on. Stop. They don't know how to freaking swim, man. Yo. What the? Y'all learned how to swim? I taught you how to swim. You I gotta be kidding me. Let me see. On, Do it again. Y'all had me scared to death, man. I didn't... Look at Flint. Show me, because I need to make sure they didn't lifeguard y'all over here. Oh, wow. Wow, dog pedaling. 
Who taught them that? You? <laughs> what the? Nation's winning? Who taught her how to swim that fast? Dang, Nation! She not a little kid no more. All right, let me see you jump off the cave. No funny stuff. I got to see this, guys. I actually thought that they were going to drown, man. What the heck was I thinking? Come on, nation. And you the shortest? That's crap. Whoa. Whoa. No way. <laughs> Gee. Oh. I can't hear nothing you saying. D. Come on, you got a cowabunga splash. Come on, Jalele. Kamari's splash was bigger. D. Wow, nation. I'm very impressed. I can't lie. I never thought I'd see today you swim. Because yesterday you wouldn't even let me throw you over there. What's wrong? What happened? Literally, yesterday you would not let me throw you in the water. Now all of a sudden you got confidence. What is it? The movie Little? Jesus Christ. Come on, y'all do it all together. Do some cool stuff then. Can't believe this, man. Hold on, where Rhino at? We need to get him in this pool, bro. Wonder if he can swim from the deep end. We need to get Rhino right there, push him in, see if he can swim all the way, what? Turn the water, okay. Got it. Hey, hey. Come on, nation. This your first time. Holy cremoly. D. I'm so glad y'all taught them how to swim. That means, guys, whenever we move, we need to find a house with a big pool for Nation and Kamari and Leon and, of course, big old hand Lele. <laughs> Come on, Mari, I got you. D. This is amazing. And if we move, guys, we definitely got to find another slide because slides are amazing. We need a bigger slide, though. Hey, Kamari, can you hear me under there? Nope. I guess not. <laughs> Come on, Leon. You can do it. Yay. Oh, hit the wall, Nation. Hit the wall. Hit that wall. Whoa. <laughs> D, Mermaid Kamari in the building. Come on, curly heads. Leah got the curliest hair in the world. What the heck? Oh, Michael Jackson. Come on, Leon, why you going so slow? You scared now? Hit that, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, Jalele. You gotta hold your nose. Whoa. Come on, Nation, right before you get in the water, you gotta hit the wall. Right before you get in the water. Oh, hit that shoe. <laughs> whoa. Dang, Come on, you almost flipped out. Come on, did you feel that? Nope. Come on, Lily. Come on, Lily. Hey, hey. <laughs> Else. Guys, did I get in the water now? Is it warm, Jalea? Nope. Probably not. But in all seriousness, guys, I really need to make this video to let everyone know because a lot of people think that we forgot about our baby Blanco, but we never did. I never stopped his Instagram. I just don't post on there. I never deleted it or gave it away or nothing like that. I look at the pictures quite often and it always makes me sad, guys. But nevertheless, this is gonna be a happy day. We're gonna let all those balloons go. Everyone should be happy all over the world. Remembering Blanco, all the good times, never the bad times, guys. But these kids really making me feel like I'm missing out, I mean. I got on basketball clothes and it's freaking hot and the pool is super clean and they just said it feels warm up in there. Leon, how's that water? What? <laughs> Come on, how's the water? Oh. She is the wildest on that slide. She's about to fall out the side. We also have this to look forward to. So even though Blanco's gone, guys, and a lot of you probably feeling sad since I brought that up, don't forget, guys, we're happy that we even got to experience Blanco's living, and we're going to celebrate him just like we're going to celebrate the 4th of July. 
Either way, guys, these phones are seriously like hotcakes. I'm about to get to throwing them away. Literally tossing them like this. Because you know what? We almost at 7 million subscribers. If someone does that to a phone that I throw at them, I'm going to take it back. You better take it, all right? Acting like you don't want it. What's wrong with you, man? Nothing makes me madder than to give an iPhone or some AirPods or anything away to someone ungrateful, knowing that there are 7 million other people that deserve it, guys. I need you guys to start being more deserving, even if you don't have a lot. Even if you don't have a cell phone, you don't need to be walking around telling everybody, I need an iPhone because I'm broke and I don't got no cell phone and I'm homeless. Dude, be humble, all right? We all been there. Believe you me, I used to be homeless, okay? Not literally like living on the streets, but I didn't have no home. I wasn't the boss of my life. Someone else controlled everything I did, all right? And look at me now, guys. All it takes is persistence, okay? Patience, definitely. And you have to humble yourself. And you know what's crazy? Most of you probably watch this and you don't even humble yourself, dude. But it doesn't matter what you guys think because guess what? Someone thinks I humble myself enough to put me in this position. And that someone is, of course, the most high God. And I thank him every day. And I encourage you guys to thank him as well because that is the only reason we're all in existence. This whole world itself could be disintegrated in seconds if we weren't thankful so hopefully everyone takes this message and actually begins to live in a more thankful way whether you win or whether you don't win still appreciate the fact that you had the chance and i gave you that chance seven million subscribers on the way literally like less than fifteen thousand subscribers away what? from seven million which means i'm giving away those iphones and no i did not forget about the hundred dollars worth of gift cards i'm gonna be going to get those as well guys but as you know it's almost the 4th of July, so I'm trying to preserve as much energy as possible to be out there blowing up them fireworks and putting on the best show for not only my family, but you guys, because of course I got to record it all. So stay tuned, because actually our 4th of July starts tonight, because I'm going to have to make the video tonight to post it tomorrow. I can't actually blow up my fireworks like regular people on the 4th of July. I got to do it on the 3rd of July to make sure that you guys, my family watching me on YouTube, get a chance to experience the 4th with us on the 4th and not the 5th. Either way, guys, I know this video was short and it was specifically detailed about what we're going to be doing in five days, which is releasing those white air balloons. So do not forget. All right. Now, now that you guys all know that I have to go get ready to find these white balloons because I only got five days. I got to blow them all up and I have to make sure it's a lot. So I'm out. Peace. My school kids go. Uh, 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 best friend go. Uh, 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 now watch the money go. Uh, 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 all my ladies go. Uh, 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 now all my fellas go.